welcome to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video I was going to save this topic until the day before Thanksgiving in the US but with everyone doing their holiday shopping online during the pandemic and timelines for shipping getting longer and longer I've decided to do this video about gifts for the fountain pen lover on your shopping list a little bit earlier than usual I know most online pen stores already have their shopping guides up for their websites but I'm not going to recommend any fountain pens here I'm going to focus on cool stuff that fountain pen lovers would love to receive that won't cost you hundreds of dollars I'm going to look at some accessories that are roughly $35 and under I think pens themselves are much like shoes and styles and tastes vary so widely it's better to get someone a gift certificate than to pick out a pair of shoes for someone else all right guys you have to go back I can't afford you no don't send us away we love you damn it the shoes are right for those of you that are buying stuff for yourselves as you shop for gifts I'm going to look at a few things that are new on the market to help you run up that credit card oh go ahead you're not making that trip to Mexico this winter anyway I'm going to Hawaii I'm going to Hawaii it's falling back I'm not going to Hawaii I'm also going to take the opportunity to give a gift to one of you subscribers so I'm doing another fountain pen giveaway for the holiday season the pen I've decided to give away is this year n 878 I will talk about this pen and show you how you can win this pen at the end of the video so let's take a look at some really cool stocking stuffers and accessories for the pen lover you love right now <music> So I'm going to show you 10 things that I think are cool for the fountain pen enthusiast in your life some of these are cool things that I've picked up over the last year and I find very useful mostly they come in under $35 then I'm going to look at a few pens that are relatively new on the market that you might want to grab for yourself or if you're brave for your pen friend and finally I will show you how to win this very cool year-end 878 fountain pen let's begin with our shopping list these are in no particular order and I will show some online locations you may purchase these items these are not necessarily the least expensive places to purchase so please do your own due diligence and search for bargains first up the Paniter pen filler it's often called the Paniter portable pen filler and it's available at Goulet pens for $25 I got mine at a local pen shop this is a great idea for fountain pen users that are frequently out of reach of their bottled ink supplies and wish to take more ink than one converter will hold for them being retired and in the middle of a pandemic I don't wander far from my ink supplies <sighs> but I wanted to try this device especially since I found out from one of my Facebook groups that you can replace the 10 milliliter ink bottle that comes with the pen filler with this 30 milliliter diamine ink bottle of course you'll need to keep the airspace as recommended on the Paniter bottle but this would increase your traveling ink supply by at least another 10 milliliters this is how it works I'm going to demonstrate with my Moonman T1 piston filler but this works on cartridge converters as well as vacuum fillers and bulk fillers but not so much with eyedroppers here is the portable ink filler and I filled it with water for this demonstration the box has a gauge on the outside of it where you can test the gauge of your pen to see whether it meets the minimums and the maximums then you fill your ink reservoir with your ink with the supplied eyedropper but I tend to use my blunt syringe filler for that purpose I've already filled it up there is a do not overfill line here and it's marked off in increments of cc's from three cc's 
to 10 cc's. If you're using the diamine bottle instead of this bottle, I would mark off the same capacity as that airspace there in my diamine bottle with a Sharpie to make sure I don't overfill the ink bottle because that can cause disasters. Move the piston of your cartridge converters or your piston fillers or your bulk fillers to the all the way closed position. Then you can open up the top part of your ink bottle. You can see there's the silicone liner and you're going to put your pen into that as far as it will go where it's snug and then turn the large knurled cap down so it locks it in place. It's very rigid and then you turn the nib up and then all I have to do is retract the piston and it will fill the pen. Now I'm not getting a full fill of course and you wouldn't with an ordinary ink bottle but at this point you can turn it the other way around unlock and then you can use a tissue to wipe off your nib. But there's also I'm going to close this up it's always a good idea to close that right up to prevent disasters but there's also another secret compartment right here there at the very top you pull that off and there's a little space in there and what you can use that for is tear off a little bit of a tissue poke that tissue down inside like that and then when you finished filling your pen and you've pulled your pen out and replaced the top on your ink bottle generally your nib is the only thing that has ink on it and the section is generally dry because of that silicone seal so then all you have to do is dab your nib into that tissue there's also another little technique if you have a transparent piston filler or bulk filler or a vacuum filler you can always try this trick which is turn the piston some more until that air bubble disappears if that's opaque the other trick to do and always have a Kleenex near you is raise that piston until you see ink start to appear right there and then stop you know that you've burped all the air out of there reinsert your pen lock it down it's nice and tight and then go at it again there I pretty much filled that pen unlock it pull your pen out the inkwell again and dab your nib and you're good to go it's a little bit more tricky with vacuum fillers here's my pen BBS 456 vacuum filler so once it's inserted in there you can feel it slide into the silicone now I can release my piston and push it back up again you want to hold on to the pen filler as well because you don't want it shooting off if you just held on to the pen you'd eject it into space push it up and we'll see it fills now it doesn't fill a lot so you can do the same as the piston filler pull your piston back down and then push it back up and to get that air out of there again checking the nib so you push some of that air out of there and this is the tricky part because that piston sometimes wants to retract back because of the vacuum like that you want to hold it in place insert it back into the pen filler lock it down turn it back upside down and then push it the rest of the way and there you can see I've got almost a full fill on that vacuum filler and you have a pretty full fill look at that so a really handy little tool, the Paniter Portable Pen Filler. 
another nice thing about this is it's so compact you can put it in your briefcase your backpack uh, even in a pocket and it's sealed very nicely on to number two a pen sleeve pen taco pen kimono or multiple pen case let's look at these to begin with this is a pen sleeve or called a pen taco because of the way it's shaped and these came with some pen bbs pens that i bought and actually has the pen bbs logo embroidered in the inside that's my waterman crayon these are really lovely you can't buy these directly from pen bbs but you can get similar items on Etsy and eBay then there's a pen kimono I quite like these they have this little this one has a um, little mother of pearl or abalone shell tag on it and you undo it and the pen lives inside future attractions these sleeves and kimonos can get uh, fairly pricey depending on the material that they're made out of and this is a three pen case with a magnetic latch and sort of a felt soft felt interior and holds three pens and this one this one's made by uh, Italian pens is in this faux leather uh, rigid case and this was a gift to me from Joel Terrell about a year ago and I use it for my favorite three pens every day and uh, it's just gotten use since the moment I took it out of the box the gift box from Joel thank you again Joel what a wonderful wonderful gift this is I can't find these online anymore but there are others that are very similar to these uh, again depending on the material uh, they can be inexpensive or very expensive if they're genuine leather they can get up to a hundred dollars or more that's a three pen case I find that very useful and then there's larger wallets and cases I've got this very large uh, case from CV L A N X I V I and it accommodates 48 pens 24 on one side and 24 on the other side and it's a great storage solution for those who have many fountain pens like yours truly and here is another kind of faux leather pouch uh, can take uh, a couple at least smaller pens you can get three uh, into it accommodates two or three pens and has an elastic on it that you can fit over your journal or your notebook I bought this in a bookstore actually uh, and there were different kinds I quite liked this watercolor design I can't find these online but I can find very similar ones uh, to this on Amazon Etsy and eBay and on to number three a pen rest or a pen stand these are pen rests and they're a really nice desk accessory uh, they come in various acrylics this is galaxy and this one is in cedar and I get these from the pen BBS official store on Etsy they have various uh, acrylics available at any one time so I had to kind of wait for my favorites to come around it took uh, quite a few months before I ordered uh, when I, as soon as I saw this the cedar which is one of my favorite acrylics in pen BBS and as soon as I saw this in Galaxy of course I pounced on them um, I always like to add them to another order because you have to pay for shipping for them of course they don't do anything other than display the pen but for pens that don't have clips on them they're a really nice roll stop on your desk pen BBS also has these really cute little crab stands for about seven bucks and there are some other ideas here in Biney's selections like these bookmarks and some notepads and notebooks you know if you want to fill out your order to justify the shipping I'd start buying now because shipping from China is starting to slow up again and it's taking four to six weeks uh, for items to get here 
and six weeks today is the day before Christmas Eve. There are lots of other options for pen stands available with faster shipping of course on places like Amazon. So search for pen stands on Amazon, Etsy and eBay. Here are some on Etsy that are reasonable and very attractive. And on to number four, a spring syringe. Now this is one very cool and very useful accessory for the fountain pen user. This particular version is a large one that I can't seem to find anymore. It works very, very simply and uh, it's very, very useful with a large capacity. But there are smaller ones uh, available on here on Etsy uh, that are available for only six bucks. This one is called the Moon Man Hong Dian Ink Cartridge Filler Fountain Pen Absorber Suction Device Instrument Tool Stationary Office School Supplies. Don't believe the titles of things you read on Etsy. I doubt these things are made by either Moon Man or Hong Dian. They just label this stuff with the hottest names in Chinese pens these days. This one is called Fan Mu and seems to have been converted into an actual fountain pen now. I might have to get one of these spring filler fountain pens to review real, real soon. Fountain pen users that decant ink from bottles and sample vials, fill eyedropper fountain pens, reuse cartridges with their own bottled inks, or prefer to fill converters with a syringe will appreciate this little tool. I tend to use a blunt end syringe like this or like this for those purposes but I use this one a lot for cleaning. It makes one hand operation of sucking up water and injecting it onto all parts that need cleaning very easily and I use this all the time. This was a gift from fellow YouTube pen reviewer Alan Light of What I Ink. Number five, blotting paper. Here's a package of Visconti blotting paper. I keep one of these inside my journal all the time. J. Urban makes a package much like this one that is available on many online pen stores like Jet Pens. Jet Pens also has a cool ink blotter rocker that is a great addition to any fountain pen lover's desk. Number six, a wax seal kit. Here's my wax seal kit. I bought it on Amazon. You choose the letter of your stamp and you get three sticks of wax in gold, silver, and bronze. You get this uh, wax spoon, a couple of tea light candles, and of course the stamp. I keep the stamp on my desk and I keep a lighter in that spot there. And when you run out of wax, I tend to like the gold, you can get refills fairly inexpensively on Amazon. And number seven, the Pen Clean and Tune Kit from Goulet Pens. Now this full kit exceeds my $35 price range, but you can get either the full kit, which includes pen flush, silicone grease, brass shims, mylar, micro mesh, a bulb syringe, two blunt end syringes, and a 10 times LED loop, or you can get a subset of these items in separate cleaning and tuning kits. Even just the 10 times LED loop is a great gift for fountain pen users at only $20. I bought my loop at Lee Valley Tools. Number eight, the Ink Miser. The Ink Miser is an inexpensive and totally awesome accessory. You place this device into your bottle of ink, put the cap on it and turn it upside down to collect the remaining ink into the miser so your fountain pen can get at the ink. It's like turning ink bottles into an Ackerman ink bottle. The Ackerman ink bottle has this kind of concept built into the shape of the bottle with this bottleneck top section that has a ball in there. And when you tilt it, ink runs into the top of the pen and you tilt it back down and the ball squeezes it off. And so you can always get at the last bits of ink. And number nine, a glass dip pen. Your fountain pen friend might have never tried a glass dip pen before. They're very cool to play with. I bought this one on Amazon for only 12 bucks Canadian and it is very attractive. 
I found this elaborate glass dip pen, inkwell, and stand on Amazon for only $28.99. I worry about its fragility in being shipped, however, but Amazon is pretty good at protecting your purchases. And finally, number 10, a bottle of ink. What a surprise. Of course, you can choose whatever ink you'd wish, and ink choices are very subjective, you know, like socks. But I'm going to suggest one of this series of holiday inks that Diamine released last year, the Inkvent Calendar Inks. I bought this, Jack Frost. The bottles have a really cool design to them with these four feet pulled out of hot glass. Very, very cool. Of course, there are 25 inks to choose from. Here are some of the inks available from Goldspot pens. Just a note here that those in colder climates, you might want to avoid buying inks as they might freeze in shipping. So that's my list of 10 gift ideas for the fountain pen lover on your list. Now let's look at some new fountain pens I've discovered in the marketplace. Now some of these are new, but some of these might not be new. I'm, they're just new to me. The Twisby VAC 700R Iris. Now, I was going to buy this pen when it was released on November 6th, but then Applebaum had a 20% sale on the same day for Fountain Pen Day, and I took the opportunity to snag a Maiora Impronte Oversize instead. But the Twisby VAC 700R Iris is a sharp-looking new version of Twisby's top-of-the-line pen. It looks like Twisby is getting flashier in their finishes, which is really great to see. I might still grab one of these in the new year if they're still around. And what is old again is new again with Parker, with the announcement that they will be releasing a new Parker 51 in February 2021. This new pen has stirred up a lot of discussion and it is clearly not a recreation of one of the most famous pens in fountain pen history. Not only is it a cartridge converter, it is quite different in its dimensions and looks like it will be manufactured in, wait for it, Wait for it! Let's say China. 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 At this price point, you might want to get the Chinese version, which is closer to the original in the Hero 616. You'd save about $85 on the projected price of $87 for the Parker. And no, this new Parker 51 is not a gold nib. And we have a couple of new models of pens from Moonman, with the Moonman 1000 and the Moonman P135, as Moonman sets their sights on copying the designs of Mont Blanc after spending the last year copying Leonardo and Parker with the M800 and the M600, respectively. The Moonman 1000 is a clear clone of the Mont Blanc Lobrac. I don't know that I've pronounced that properly which retails for around 2000 bucks. The Moonman 1000 has a Bach branded steel nib and is priced around $65 US. A little bit pricey for a Chinese pen. The Moonman P135 is clearly a clone of the Mont Blanc Le Petit Prince Douai P145 fountain pen, which retails for around $1400. The Moonman P135 is selling for $27.80. I have one of these on the way. Something to look forward to. Moonman has also added a new finish to their very popular Moonman T1 piston filler in antiqued brass. I decided not to get one of these, but ChrisRap52 bought one and did a terrific review. It is, as you'd expect, a lot heavier than this aluminum version, but it looks very cool. If you're a hero pen lover, there's a very cool looking silver, in color, not in material of course, Hero 103 that is available for only $13.80. You can bet this silver won't tarnish like the real stuff. Wingsung has added another version of their very successful Wingsung 699 vacuum filler. It is the same pen and available in the same colors of smoke and blue, but it's a piston filler and sells for $29.80. And finally, to my favorite fountain pen company, PenBBS. The PenBBS official Etsy shop owner, Biney, has teased us a few times with photos of new finishes 
coming for the 456 vacuum filler. There is this two-tone version, which is currently unnamed, a 456 in Misty Mountains, and what I'm anxiously waiting to pounce on, a Galaxy 456. And now for the giveaway. I'm giving away this year-end 878 fountain pen. I reviewed this pen about a year ago, and I'll post the review here in the description below. But let's take a good look at it now. It's a metal pen that is fairly hefty, if you like that kind of thing. It has a terrific gray pewter look to it, and has a really nice spiral design. The pen posts has a number five steel nib, which is very smooth and wet and it is a cartridge converter. It takes Lamy style cartridges and I'm including this actual Lamy converter because it works better than the converter that came with the pen. To win this pen simply be a subscriber and leave a comment below. You don't need to comment on anything specific but I will give you a topic. What pen or pen accessory do you want for Christmas? Discuss. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> and there you have it. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this. <laughs>